the most beautiful pier in England. That's how Sir John Benjamin, Poet Laureate, described this pier. And it won Pier of the Year in 2021. Hi everyone, I'm Louise and today I'm here in North Somerset on Clevedon Pier, a very breezy Clevedon Pier. The last time I tried to do a video here, it hammered down with rain when I got here, having been lovely and sunny in the morning. And now today I'm met with strong winds and fog, but I'm going to get this video made. Clevedon Pier originally opened on the 29th of March 1869 and beautiful pagodas were added at the end in 1894. More recently, One Direction, the boy band, have made the pier very famous actually because in 2014 they filmed their video here for the song You and I. There are over 14,000 plaques on the pier and One Direction have their very own plaque to commemorate filming You and I. And I hunted high and low for it. I just couldn't find it. And eventually someone came up to me and they pointed it out to me. So I found the One Direction plaque. Somebody had to point it out to me. I just couldn't find it myself. So here we go, One Direction filmed here for their video. And you release you and I on the 23rd of March, 2014. You can have your very own plaque as well. There's details here. For copyright reasons, I can't play you the You and I track, but I'll have a little go at singing the chorus in case you can't think of what the song is and you'd like to recognise it. So here we go. You and I, we don't want to be like them. We can make it till the end. Nothing can come between you and I. Not even the gods above can separate the two of us. Well, that's enough of my singing. I was singing along to the soundtrack on the computer, so that's why there's some gaps in it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you know the song now. I'm making my way to the bottom of the pier and I'll probably go to the coffee shop on the top deck of the pagoda. But first of all, let's go down these stairs and see what's down here. So this is the porthole room and out to this window you can look underneath the pier and there's a web camera here as well so you can see what it's looking like here on the Bristol Channel at any time of the day. So down here there's also some pictures for sale you pay for them in the shop which I'll show you later. There's also toilets down here and just one floor above us is a restaurant and I'll show you that from the outside. Until the 1890s, the pier served as a transfer point for steamers heading over to South Wales. And I believe you can also still get a tourist paddle steamer, the Waverley, um, that was certainly running until last year, but I've not seen a timetable for this year yet. Do keep an eye out for that. On a clear day, you can easily see across to the South Wales coast. In 1913, a dance hall was added to the pier. It wasn't really very popular in the years after the war, but it became really popular in the late 1950s and early 60s with the beginning of rock and roll. And I love hearing these people recalling their memories of it. I think about 1958, 59 to 60, um, we heard there was this wonderful thing at the end of the pier called a jukebox. It was the end of the pier and to see this wonderful jukebox um, the strains of Elvis Presley, of course. We never had a jukebox on there. I don't expect we'd have gone on there. We were allowed to dance, which we did do, and there was a little counter to sell coffee and cakes. These days, coffee and cakes are served upstairs in the pagoda, and that's where I headed next for a little bit of a warm-up. So many of the jobs on the pier are done by volunteers. As a charity, it can't afford to pay lots of people full time. So jobs on the pier and in the Heritage Centre, which I'll show you in a bit, are done by volunteers. One of the things I love about this pier is the elegance of the legs. It's just so charming. The legs were built using leftover Barlow iron from Brunel's South Wales Railway. 
Just below the cafe, there's a nice indoor area. There was a family having a picnic inside there when I was here. And around the edges of that area, there's some really interesting history about the pier. And I learned that in 1970, two end spans collapsed into the sea after having been very heavily load tested. In 1979, the local council voted to demolish the pier, but in 1980, a preservation effort helped revive conservation efforts. And restoration of the pier took place on and off until 1998. I'm back at the other end of the pier now in the Heritage Exhibition Centre. It's just upstairs from the shop and the entrance. And there's loads of really interesting exhibits about Clevedon's heritage. And there's lots of interesting interactive things to do as well. Let's just have a look around. So this is the gift shop area. It's just downstairs from where I was in the exhibition. And it's actually where you first arrive when you come to explore the pier. You pay for your fee in here. And I paid £3.70 and that was in February 2024. There were so many gorgeous gifts in here. I was very tempted to get something for myself, but I resisted the temptation. But some really, really lovely quality stuff. I was talking to one of the volunteers here and she was saying what amazing sunset there was yesterday and that reminded me when I came over here in the summer a couple of years ago to make a video I saw the most amazing sunset too. I'm going to put some footage of that in here now. Well I hope you enjoyed that little look at Clevedon Pier. I just love it here. I think it's just a really elegant structure and I love the simpleness of it as well. It's just got a coffee shop and a little restaurant place as well. There's no arcades or anything on it. It's just really untacky, if that's a word. I love places like Paynton, and don't get me wrong, but this is just simple. I don't really like it. So anyway, that's my opinion. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check out my other Cleveland video. I'll link to that at the end of here. And subscribe to the channel if you'd like to as well. It's got lots of videos from all around the southwest of England, all sorts of different places and all sorts of different videos. So do check them out. I'm off to go and warm up now with another cup of coffee. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.